time to give respect to all who paved the way. Do this, do that, do the folk music, but you, we can't hire you as a straight out gospel group anymore. So we, we, we had to think about that and we decided, okay, we'll do this. Mm -hmm. We'll do this and we'll, maybe we'll get famous and make a lot of money. And Best we'll, decision you ever made in your life. Yeah. <laughs> maybe we'll come back and do our gospel music after it's, it's all over. Right. Did that ever and happen? We created, uh, we were just a, two guitars, bass and drums. That's mm -hmm. all we were. Mm -hmm. So we had to have, uh, we started hitting the bigger venues, we needed a bigger sound. So right. how are we gonna do that with five people, you know? So we-, we All decided, brothers, all I brothers. Hope, uh, so we took, uh, each each guitar player had, he had a, ca a, a, a speaker over here and a, we had a double setup. Oh, wow. And th this is the first time I don't know what my brother's gonna do to me. We never told anybody about our sequel. <laughs> so we had a huge, big sound because the bass player had a cabin over here. No, it's a cabin the over cabin here. Over what were your amplifiers of choice back then? What, what amplifiers were you guys using just to be musicians? Uh, our, our first amp was a silver tone. Okay. And we played two guitars through that. Uh -huh. One silver yeah. tone amp. Wow. When you guys were playing big shows, did you use the Fender Basements or some of the big cabinets, or what you guys use? Later, for? later we got better equipment. Uh -huh. Later we got uh, Fender equipment uh -huh. and Marshall. We got Marshall. The live sound did. was changing too at that time. Yeah, yeah. So the sound didn't Marshall really was the thing for a minute, and then we did Marshall, and then we did Fender. Fender was the thing for a minute. We got we went to that, and then uh, acoustic amps came mm -hmm. around. Uh, that uh, that came when we were doing the Hollywood Bowl, mm. uh, the Doors. Wow, you guys did the Doors. That was a good gig. Yeah, <laughs> that was a great gig. The uh, truck, a flatbed truck rolled up. Cause we we had we didn't have ampli amplicat we didn't have enough amps for the Hollywood Bowl. Right. So we were trying to figure out how are we gonna do this. So we mic'd every amp, mic the amps, and this big flatbed truck rolled up with. The doors. Amp, uh, amps to the sky, <laughs> and this guy said it was acoustic amps. They had never been in on the market, and they were trying to get people to use their equipment, mm. hoping you'd buy it. Mm. And Larry Graham, he says this is for everybody. Mm -hmm. But when he was gone, the doors manager says only the doors are going to use this. Mm -hmm. He says, wait a minute. He said for everybody, and he says. The doors are headlining, and only the doors are going to use them. So they went and took the fuse out of the front amps. Damn. So nobody could use the amps. Wow. So we macked all of our equipment, and when we finished, by the end of the time has come today, there was complaints registered coming down. The music was going up into the hills, and people started to complain. Well, the fire marshals came. And the first thing they want to know, whose equipment is this? We said, the doors. <laughs> <laughs>